What's the guys? Tyner back with a new video, and happy 20th anniversary to the Punisher movie. So this will be Punisher 20th anniversary special. So as always, let's get into it. So before I get into the Punisher stuff in this video, I went to see Spider-Man theaters on Monday, and I want to show you guys the promo poster, the limited edition poster they were giving away. So, and I want to tell you guys right now on the channel that uh, I'm going to see all eight Spider-Man movies. I booked my tickets in advance. So, actually, for the first two, I actually got tickets twice because the first time, they were just uh, going to show the movies on Mondays. But now they're going to show them uh, on uh, Mondays through Thursdays. So, I got my tickets like the week when they went on sale uh, that uh, same Friday. And... There's barely any seats left for Spider-Man 1 and 2. And then uh, a few weeks later, I found out that they put more time slots and they put uh, screenings for Tuesday to Thursday. So, and I just had a feeling, I don't know why, something told me to go check the times for, for Spider-Man 1 again on, on Monday. First Monday, April 15th. And I looked, and there was two seats available, so someone must have refunded their tickets for those seats. So I booked those seats for me and my dad. We went and saw the movie, and it was pretty cool. It was awesome to see Spider-Man back in theaters. And I felt like I was four years old again, so it was pretty cool. And I can't wait to see the others back in theaters, and I can't wait to get all the, all the limited edition posters, because that's pretty cool. So now again to the Punisher. So growing up, I was never really into the anti-heroes of Marvel like Punisher and uh, Blade. I don't know why those movies. I don't know. I just never watched them a whole lot. Not as much as I did Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, uh, Hulk, etc., etc. And I don't know. But ironically. When the Daredevil and Ghost Rider movies came out, I instantly loved those characters when those movies came out. I don't know why. But anyway, so over the years, I've grown to appreciate the more darker characters, like the Midnight Suns, like Punisher, Blade. I know Ghost Rider and Daredevil are part of the Midnight Suns as long as Moon Knight. So, all right, so let's get into the Punisher merch. So, first off, I have DVD right here. And... Real quick, I want to tell you guys about the shirt. So, this shirt, it actually isn't a promo shirt from the 2004 movie. I actually got this shirt at Walmart around the same time I was planning for this video. So, and that was very ironic. That same day I was thinking about playing this anniversary special video for you guys, I bought this shirt. I couldn't believe it. And I looked at it, I'm like, is that the same logo from the movie? I'm like, yes it is, because... This logo is very distinctive. You can tell automatically. So. So I just thought that that was pretty cool. So. There's that shirt. So here's the DVD. And I really think that. Thomas Jane. Really played a good Punisher. I thought that he was great in the role. And I will actually love to see him return. As a character. Since he's worked with uh, John Bertha before. And I know that uh, he did like a short, I want to say 2012, something like that. And I thought that that was pretty cool. Here's the extended cut. It was a cool little slip cover. Take that off. That's pretty cool. Here's the DVD over here. That's pretty cool. Always love that shot. And I have gone back and watched this film a few times. I try, for the past few years, I've tried to get the, a lot of the older Marvel films. Just in case uh, some of the characters pop up in Avengers Secret Wars. Here's a little art booklet. This is pretty cool. And honestly, with uh, John Berthold coming back as the Punisher, I think it's pretty cool. Can't wait to see him back as the Punisher and uh, Daredevil born again. 
But back to Thomas Jane. Uh, always loved, loved this skull design in particular. I don't know why, just something about it. My opinion is better than uh, the other ones that I've seen. Like, uh, uh, here's the discs. The disc. There's the last shot right here. Well, I think that his skull design, in my opinion, is the best out of any live action. Not sure we've seen. Well, okay, besides uh, John Berthold. To me, his is like a hybrid of this, but with, uh, well, with a little work added to the nose. It, lo it looks more pissed off. Which I think looks pretty cool. Here's the soundtrack, and and I was planning on getting the uh, uh, the score, but but when I try to get, it, it's, I actually I actually tried to buy it for a for my auction, but uh, someone snagged it from me. So, but it's pretty expensive, but I will get it one day. And this soundtrack is just awesome. It has an awesome song. Uh, Broken by Cedar, which features Evanescence's uh, Amy Lee. A lot of these Marvel soundtracks in the early 2000s were kick ass. Cool looking disc. I know there's a shirt with uh, the skull in red. Probably get it one day. And here's the comic adaptations right here. Here's issue one. Two, great shot right there, and three. And here is the Wizard Magazine. So, try to get all the Wizard Magazines of all the uh, Marvel and DC movies that came out back in the day. And here is a. Uh, is there a promo flat for the soundtrack right here? I always thought these are cool growing up. Seeing these pro promo flats. That's the front. And here's the back. That's pretty cool. A lot of good songs on there. For a lot of cool bands that came on back then. Drown and Pool, Nickelback, Trapped, Puddle of Mud, Seether, Richard Emily, Queens of the Stone Age, Chevelle. Introducing a Edgewater. Pretty cool stuff. And here is Punisher Plush Doll. This actually came out in 2003, but I know that they made it a way ahead of time to promote the movie, so. So this is the only Punisher Plush Doll that someone looks like the character. Because I've seen some other ones, but but they have like big heads and stuff like that. Now, last but certainly not least, the film program. That's a pretty cool image right there. This movie had a had pretty cool marketing. I'm surprised that they didn't put out a trading card set for this movie. But this is one of the more darker Marvel movies. It was rated R. It was in PG-13. And to be honest, I'm actually surprised before they even did this movie that they got away with doing the Blade movies. I am very surprised. And... Blade is considered by many fans to be the first good Marvel movie. Right before X-Men and Spider-Man came out. Cool shot right there. So really and truly, if they want to do like a, a small like cameo crossover thing in Secret Wars. Do like a Midnight Suns type of thing. I think that without a doubt that they should do it with Thomas Jane, uh, Punisher, Ben Affleck's Daredevil. Uh, Nicholas Cage's Ghost Rider, and what's his type of play? They could have him have like a multiverse 
Midnight Suns there. That would be pretty cool in my opinion. Because they can't do that now since they own the rights. Go cool look at the image. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your favorite scene in the movie is. Oh and by the way the score. I thought that the score was pretty awesome. Very unique. Tile sequence is awesome. So, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.